It's actually insane what you can do with Canva from creating marketing materials like posters, video ads, and social media content through to leveraging generative AI for content and media creation. What's even more exciting is you can now build systems like a CRM, customer relationship management software, using Canva Sheets for managing contacts, leads, customers, your sales pipeline, tasks, campaigns, and more. And today I'm going to share exactly how you can build your own CRM with Canva. All right, if this sounds interesting to you, let's jump over to my screen and launch into Canva. Okay, so here we are inside of Canva. Now, if you're completely new to Canva, simply head over to your browser and type in canva.com, sign up for free, and that will take you inside of Canva. Then inside of Canva and under home, what we first want to do is choose a design format that we're going to use to build our CRM. And today we'll be focusing on Canva Sheets in order to build our CRM. Canva Sheets is an all-in-one AI-driven and visual spreadsheet builder, allowing you to transform your boring data into visually engaging spreadsheets. So what we can do is search for Sheets up here, or we can click Sheets down here. And that's going to take us to a fresh Canva Sheets building interface. Now today I'll be focusing on building a CRM using Canva Sheets. However, if you want to dive into all the different features and tools that Canva Sheets has to offer, I'll link a full Canva Sheets tutorial down below in the description if you're interested in diving deeper into Canva Sheets. Okay, so how can you build your own CRM using Canva Sheets? Well, first I'm going to show you two methods that you can quickly use to generate a CRM. Following this, we'll build out our own CRM from scratch so that you walk away with a complete understanding on how to build and customize your own CRM. Okay, so first up, you can create a CRM with a template. Simply navigate up to Templates under Design and type in CRM. And these are two lead trackers that Canva has to offer that come close to a CRM system. For example, let's click on this template here and replace current page. We can customize this template the way that we like. I'm going to change this to CRM and we can change all the elements if we like. Down here you can see different column types and I'll show you how to create your own shortly. You can see this is a simple CRM or lead tracker that allows you to manage your contacts and leads data. We also have a simple sales process here as well as the potential lead or contract value. Okay, so one way is to build out your CRM using a template or what we can do is navigate down here and create a new page, a new sheet, and we can build a CRM using AI. Navigate up to Actions, then navigate down to Generate Table, then simply add a prompt. And the more detailed your prompt, the better the output. Here's an example of a CRM prompt. Create a CRM system for my web design agency. Include the following columns, name, email, account, phone, source, type, media and files, and sales status. Let's see what Canva AI will generate from this. Let's come down and click on insert. And just like that, AI has generated this output. And we can customize this further to manage our contacts, our leads, as well as our sales database, tasks, and more. However, I want to show you how to build a more complex CRM from scratch using Canva Sheets. Okay, so I've restarted from scratch to build our own CRM. Let's go ahead and name this file. And I'm going to create a CRM for Cindio Media, which is a web design agency. Then what I'm going to do is highlight these rows all the way to column J and then right click and then click on merge cells. I'm going to change the color and here we can use our brand kit if we like or we can select a default color. I'm going to select this color down here. Then I can make these rows larger if I like by simply dragging them out and I can do the same with columns. Let's navigate over to text and add a heading to our CRM. We can also choose from these different options down here. For example, I like the look of this. Then I can drag and drop and place this text element where I like. Okay, let's delete this and change this to CRM and add my business name here. I'm going to change the color to this darker green color over here. And I'm happy with that for now. I can also add elements. Let's just type in CRM and click on see all. And let's have a look at some of these elements. I like the look of this element here. So I'm going to add this and then navigate over here, right click and then click on detach image. That's if I do not want to add that image, that element, inside a specific row. Okay, I'm going to add this. Okay, so I'm happy with that. Then I'm going to highlight this row up until J and then change the color to this light gray color. Now let's go ahead and collapse this. And for our CRM, we need to add columns. For example, name, and this will be the contact or lead name. Now we can reformat this. For example, I'm going to bold the text, make it larger, as well as change the alignment. 
Then I'm going to simply drag and copy this text format across this entire row and then simply change the column labels. I'll quickly do that now. Okay, so I've quickly added these column types inside my CRM. Now I'm going to drag this out a bit and make some of these columns slightly larger. I'm happy with that and this, and I'll also drag out sales status and deal value. Now that we've added our column types, we want to reformat each column correctly. For example, name, we would add the contacts name in here. Now if I click actions and navigate down, we can insert these different format types like mention, date, drop down, link and Canva design. So name, I'm happy with just a text format, same with account, and the account could be the company name, same with email, and I'm just putting in dummy data as an example. Phone number, again, this is just a text box. Now source is where this contact came from. So what I can do here is navigate up to actions and locate, drop down, and then create a drop down. Click here, and here we want to add our source options. Click on the pencil icon next to each option and add your options. I'll quickly add mine. Okay, so I've added three options. We can also click on this color option and add a specific color. Head back and do the same with all your options. And you can see the preview down here. Navigate back. I'm going to do the same with Facebook. Navigate down. Okay, let's navigate back. And what you wanna do is take the time to add additional options if you need to. I'm going to quickly add a few more now. Okay, so as you can see, I've got five source options. Let's say that the source came from a website form. Now your columns may be different to mine, so take the time to customize your own columns, depending on what you want inside your CRM. Now what we wanna do is drag this all the way down. So I'm just going to drag down to 14, row 14, and then delete these by clicking delete to remove the data, but the formatting remains the same. Then I can navigate up to type. Again, I'm going to click on actions, navigate down, and click on drop down and then create another custom drop down. And for me, this is going to be the business type. So I'm going to quickly add the different business types in here. Okay, so I've quickly added those different business types. Let's drag this all the way down to 14. And again, quickly delete these values. Under media and links, I can navigate up to actions again, navigate down and locate link. And then I can add a link in here. First, what I'm gonna do is drag this down and then click up here. And here I can add the website link, for example, or a document link that could connect to Google Drive for storing all this contacts information. For me, I'm just going to add the URL of the contacts website and click on done. Then we have date added. We can navigate up to actions, navigate down and locate the date option, drag this down. And then we can simply change the date. The date this contact was added was today. Then we have sales status. Again, I can navigate up to actions, navigate down and locate drop down and create my own. I'm going to quickly do that now and add all my different sales statuses. Okay, so as you can see, I've quickly added all those different sales stages. I'm going to change the sales status for this contact, this lead to details discussed. And again, we can drag this out and because we've already added the values, we can delete these values. And then we have deal value and I'm going to add 5,000 and click out of here, then click back, navigate up here and select currency. Now, if we navigate up to currency again, we can also click on more formats and choose the correct currency here. Okay, let's close out of this and then drag this down, then delete this and the formatting will remain the same. Okay, so as you can see, we've created a simple CRM for contact management. I'm going to quickly add some more example contacts to fill out some of the CRM. Okay, so I've quickly added additional records to my CRM. Now I can also use formulas. So for example, I'm actually going to click here right click and add a row above. Then what I could do is change this color, navigate up here and let's come down to see all and add this light purple color. I'm happy with that. I'm also going to navigate up to border and change the border color to this color also. Okay, so I'm happy with that. Let's close out of this. I'm going to make this slightly smaller and let's navigate over here above deal value to add a formula. Simply click on equals and you can do this in any row and then select sum and I'm going to click drag all the way down to the bottom and click on enter. And now we have the total value. I could also change the color of the background to a darker purple and then close out of this. Actually, I'm going to change the text color to white. Close out of that. And then I can navigate over to text. And for example, I can add a subheading, drag this and place that here and type in total deal value, change the size and move this over here. And I'm happy with that. Let's close out of this. I'm also going to add a line down here by navigating up to the border and adding a line down here. I'm going to change the line color to black and I'm happy with this. As you can see, our CRM is coming along. Now, if I add a value in here, say 4,000, you'll see the value will change up here. 
and you can add all sorts of formulas. Just click equals and add the formula that you like inside the cell of your choice. Now to add a new contact, a new record, you can navigate down here and add a new record, or you can simply add a record up here. Now I recommend deleting this first row and using this top row to add new contacts, new records by simply navigating over here and clicking add. So all new records, all new contacts will be added up here. That way your formulas will not be impacted if you're adding new rows up above. Now for our CRM, we can also add additional pages. For example, let's click here. And for the purpose of this page, I'm going to navigate up to design and add a task management interface inside our CRM. You can also build your own from scratch, but for the purpose of today's tutorial, I'm just going to add this task tracker and replace current page using this template. Okay, so now we have a task tracker. Again, you can build your own from scratch if you like. So we have our CRM, this first page interface, and then we have a task tracker. Again, I would take the time to customize the design, the theme, the style of this task tracker so that it's similar to my first page. Now, what we can also do is link pages inside our document so we can link our CRM to this task tracker. For example, let's say that this task tracker was for a specific client and each task tracker page I built was assigned to a client. So I'm going to make this text smaller and add task tracker for Jack. As an example, then I'm going to click here, duplicate this page and this task tracker, as you can see, I now have two pages is for Felix. Now I can name these pages by simply clicking here and navigating up to add page title, task tracker for Felix, I'm happy with that. And then let's rename this task tracker, which is task tracker for Jack. Now, if we navigate over to the CRM, and for example, I can navigate over here. Let's go ahead and right click, add column to the right. And again, I'm going to highlight this, right click, merge cells, and then change this to, if we look up link, you can see we can link a specific document. So I'm going to click here, drag this down. And now we have Zach Long here. If I navigate across and click here, navigate down to enter a link or search, I'm going to link task tracker for Jack and click on done. I can drag this out and I'm also going to do the same with Felix, Felix Tim. If we navigate across, link, come down and click on task tracker for Felix and click done. Now, if I come down to this CRM and click here, that's going to take me to the specific page, the task tracker page for Felix. So that is one way you can link pages. Now we can also create a dashboard page. I'm going to move this over here and let's use a template to begin with and type in dashboard. And I like this dashboard design here, replace current page and collapse this. I'm going to change the text to CRM dashboard. I wanna make this smaller. Then I'm going to delete these elements as well as this information down here. Right click, delete 18 rows. I'm also going to change this text and change this to for monitoring Cindio Media's performance. And then what we could do, for example, is highlight this data here, then navigate up to actions and click on magic charts. And let's click on bar and add this magic chart that has been created. Deal value versus sales stages. I'm happy with that. I'm going to click this and we can add this anywhere that we like. Now I'm actually going to copy this, navigate over to dashboard and then paste that in here. You can drag this out, for example, and change this to deal value versus sales status. And I'm happy with that. Hey guys, just quickly before we get back to this video, I just wanna mention my Sheetify CRM, an all-in-one business toolkit and CRM built with Google Sheets and designed for Google users. You can simply manage leads, customers, tasks, engage in email marketing, manage your inventory, tickets, and more. The great part is I've made this Sheetify CRM a one-time payment, no subscriptions, unlimited access, and future updates. If you're interested in learning more, you can find the link to my Sheetify CRM down below in the description. Okay, so with that covered, let's go ahead and get back to this video. Then I can jump back here, delete this. And now if anything changes here, for example, the sales status, that data will change over here. So now we have a standalone dashboard that is capturing data from other pages. Then what I could also do is highlight source, actions, magic charts, and let's click on pie graph and add this pie graph. Again, control C, control V, and let's add this to this dashboard and change the name to where are leads coming from? And we have a pie graph that shares this information. Now with any of these graphs, you can also click on the graph and then click on edit and you can add your own options, chart setup, as well as customize and choose the labels that you want to show. You can also add the title, subtitle and more. Let's close out of this. 
We can also navigate back over to the CRM. Let's delete this graph as we already have it in dashboard and we can highlight all the data by clicking here, then navigate up to actions and click on magic insights. And here we can understand our data further by leveraging AI. For example, what lead has the largest deal value, click on generate, and this information will appear. The largest deal value among the leads is 34,700. If we navigate over here, you can see that is correct. The lead with the largest deal value is Jeff, the sales status of the lead with the largest deal is accepted. And then we have this graph that we can use if we like inside our dashboard. Deal value by lead as well as deal values by sales status. And then down here we have deal value proportion by lead. So that is how you can leverage AI insights, magic insights to break down and understand your data. This is important if each of your pages have a large data set and you want to quickly understand your data. Okay, let's close out of this. We can also navigate down here and navigate up to design and let's locate an invoice tracker. Here we have these different options. I like the look of this invoice tracker, replace current page. And now as part of our CRM, we also have an invoice tracker. I can move this across next to our dashboard. And here we can manage our invoices. Again, you can create this from scratch if you like. However, that is an example of how you can build your own simple CRM using Canva. Again, you can take the time to build out your own CRM and the different tools, the pages that you want as part of your CRM. Do you want a standalone lead tracker, invoice tracker, as well as task tracker? Do you want to have a CRM dashboard that's either on this page or has a standalone location? As you can see, you can do a lot with Canva Sheets. Again, if you want to dive deeper into the AI, the different formulas you can leverage, as well as the tools and features inside Canva Sheets, I will link my full Canva Sheets tutorial up above and down below in the description for you to check out. And there we have it guys, that is it for this Canva CRM tutorial. Now, if you have any questions about building your own CRM with Canva Sheets, make sure to pop them down below. And with that said, thank you so much for watching this video all the way through to the end. If you got value, make sure you leave a like and subscribe. And that way I'll see you in the next video. Take care, everyone.